It's finally here. Reason Studios have released Reason 11.2 that has the MIDI out update that we've all been waiting for. And not only that, but they released a brand new player called Beatmap that's pretty sick. I wasn't expecting that, but I am uh, really enjoying using that player. And yeah, today I've been messing around with MIDI app on Reason 11 and I'm pumped. This is exactly what I wanted from the Reason Rap plugin. The track that I made today is on the heavier side and I used a few techniques with MIDI app that you might not have thought of before. So check it out, let me know what you think in the comments. Go give these techniques a go. They're probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think about the new player and MIDI app, but it's a very, very cool way to use them. I don't know if my mic is picking up those cicada sounds. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is create a bass sound. The other day I downloaded these Cymatics packs, yes. I was hoping that I'd have some vocal chops. Alright, so I'm gonna use this one. Put that in here. Slice that up. Cool, cool. Alright, this is where the fun begins. Let's try the new beatmap player. Let's try using that for something entirely unconventional. Chocolate butter. Yeah. Alright, we've got that. Now we need some drums. Let's go with the club drums. Huh. That didn't work. Okay, I'm really liking this boil me kit. And also this Bacardi kit. So I think I'm gonna use this Bacardi kit as the main kit, and then the boil me kit will use as some like extra stuff. Duplicate devices. We'll go boil me kit. But we'll take the audio from the second device and put it in audio three and four. Then we'll create an audio track here with external in from the Reason Rack plugin, audio three and four. Yes. So I have one instance of Reason controlling my bass and controlling two different drum sets. This is exciting. All right, so the idea there is just to throw everything on record and randomly change a whole bunch of effects and presets that are on that bass sound to give myself different textures to work with. Now what I effectively have is a whole bunch of different bass sounds um, and drum sounds. Alright, so we're in the gathering ideas stage at the moment. I'm just going to continue to get stuff and then we'll assemble this all together into a track. This is like the sound design phase. I'm feeling another instance of the Reason Rack plugin here. Let's go with uh, players. My gosh, I'm really digging beat map. It's dope. Uh, poly step sequencer.
let's say you record MIDI using the instrument rack. Uh, don't need that for now though, so we're going to turn that off. Now this was in E minor, so we're going to want to transpose E1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to transpose 5 up, transpose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alrighty, we, we're getting some material down. We have a bunch of stupidly random sounds at this point. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can turn this into a beat. I will check back with you guys when I'm done. <laughs> So I spent the morning doing like a little bit of sound design using the new MIDI out stuff. And I'll just talk you through really quickly what I did to lay out the track. I started off with this bass part here. Then I uh, had the drums over top of that. This drum loop I actually took the patterns that I got from the beatmap player, chopped them up and then consolidated them so I could pitch them all up together. Really I should have pitched them up first, I forgot, I did that after the fact. But then I created this drum loop which sounds like this. I also added a couple of um, hits from Ableton, I think, just to get a real solid four on the floor vibe for this track. I've got the filthy bass. It's got a filter on it without the filter. Filthy bass. And I cut that out where the kick hits just to give it extra room so the frequencies aren't competing with each other. We've got this dirty. Green sound, doing something, I don't know. <laughs> Filling up a bit of space. That one's there more just for the texture than anything else, I guess. And then uh, the chord section that I got, I uh, chopped up and arranged it in a bit of an order. I've got the original bass, I think, underneath that. I'm using the beats mode in the clip edit to make it a little choppy, and I've chopped it up even further and put a filter on it. Solid four on the floor kick pattern at the bottom there. Um, drums coming in again here. This is just the original one, and then it builds up to another filthy chorus. Um, so. Pretty basic, pretty basic arrangement. And again, everything here is essentially just resampled audio 
that I created this morning using MIDI app and the players. Whew. So that's the video for this week, guys. I am so pumped with this new MIDI out thing on Reason 11.2 and even more excited for the new Beatmap player. I'm probably going to make a video about that by itself because I think it's really, really game changing. I have always found Reason Studios to be really, really creative in terms of their instruments and effects. I think the last few that I've released have been pretty bland and I wasn't a fan at all of Monotone and whatever those other ones were. So it's really cool to see them release something that's unique and fresh. And I think I'm going to be using it a lot. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Reason 11.2. Uh, is the MIDI out what you expected? And what do you think of the new player? I'll catch you guys next time. Let's listen to this filthy beat.